Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. Who's ready for some fighting words? In this video, I want to talk about Manny Pacquiao and his new deal um, with his multi-fight deal, shall I say, um, for his exhibition fights with Ryzen. Um, really quick, if you like the videos, you like the content, please take this opportunity right now. Hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, take another second and hit that thumbs up button. It really does help and support the channel. Let's get back to this video. Well, with this new deal, it opens up a lot of doors and a lot of opportunities. One opportunity in particular that Manny Pacquiao has been fighting for for the longest, politicking for for the longest, uh, pleading for for the longest, is a rematch of Floyd Money Mayweather. Now, there's two reasons why this fight is, you know, I, there was a point in time when I've even said, Manny, you just sound like a, you got to let it go. You got beat. Move on with your life. We all still love you. We all think you're great. You're all, you're, you're still a legend of the sport, but he's not giving you a rematch. You got to let it go. Now I look at it and I'm like, well, it is a possibility. Why do I think it's a possibility? Well, because number one, these are exhibition uh, matches, in which case it's not going on your record. So whatever's been done in their, their professional records cannot and will not be tainted by whatever happens in an exhibition match. That's number one. Number two, Floyd Mayweather is making like 10 to $20 million in exhibition fight, which is not bad for Floyd Mayweather to get up there and beat up on young kids. <laughs> and like, you know, and, dro and just drop people, drop people and dance in the interim. Not bad. But Floyd Mayweather can easily make 100 to possibly 150, maybe even $200 million in a rematch with Manny Pacquiao. So, you know, in comparison to what he's been doing in the ring, I'd probably say that that would be like three, four fights worth of, of fight money in one fight. And I think it would give... Listen, here's another thing about these exhibitions. Are they fun to watch? Sure, to an extent. I mean, not really. <laughs> like, not really, because if you notice, that's the reason why Floyd has to fight much bigger people. Because we all know it's not fair when he fights somebody his size or even smaller. I don't care if they're younger or not. It's just not fair. But... I would say um, at some point, we, the consumers, are going to say, all right, Floyd, you know, it's been cool watching you beat up the likes of, of Deji. Sure. I mean, I'd like to see you punch him some more, actually. So I'd like to punch him as well. But sure, why not? However, I want to see you fight somebody who's going to at least pose a threat, at least for a round, if for nothing else, at least for a round. I want to see more of a threat. If I'm going to be paying my hard-earned money and I'm knowing you are going to wipe the floor with this guy, I want to, I want some bang for buck. I, I want a little bit more excitement than you beating him up and dancing in, in, the, in the breaks. You know, this started with uh, Conor McGregor, you know, and then it, it went to... Uh, tension and, and then it went to Logan Paul and you know like all right those are all cool you know but we knew the outcome we knew what the outcome would be Logan Paul is the only one he gets he gets a well Logan and Connor are the only two that he gets he gets a pass on he gets a pass on Connor because Connor was in his prime at the time Connor was beating everything in his perspective field and he had just won the double championship uh, so already have, he already had 145 and he just won 155. You had to give him his respect. But that's that. And, you know, it was like, you know what? Connor is younger. Connor is a lot bigger. And at the time, it was perceived that Connor hit a lot harder than what he actually does hit. Well, he hit hard for the UFC. And um, smaller guys that he was fighting. He 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 hit harder than those guys. Okay. Not to mention if you have a a background in, in jujitsu or you're not used to getting punched in the face, not the way you are in boxing. Um if you have a background in karate, you're definitely not used to getting hit and punched in the face. You know, like so is there's a difference. 
but it was still he's young he's 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 literally just he's this is his time he's young he's big he's strong all those factors then you had uh logan paul dude's 200 pounds of muscle and he's like i don't know like 15 years younger than you <laughs> like so it's like maybe i don't know you know what i'm saying dude's in his 20s you know like maybe he's huge he's a freaking giant <clears throat> so possibly but all the rest of them dan moore like all the rest of them it's 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 carnival wax is what they are let's call it what it is it's, it's a carnival wax. it's something you see at a circus so with this many pacquiao deal why not Listen, Floyd, you got nothing to lose. It won't go against your record. You're definitely going to make way more money than you're going to make with all those other guys. Um, yeah, quite frankly, I think Floyd would make more money with Manny Pacquiao than he would with a re in a rematch with Conor McGregor. And I don't care how much Conor McGregor kicks and shouts and screams and threatens. Um, his his number is up. So, but Manny Pacquiao can still draw a crowd. Manny Pacquiao can still pack a punch. Manny Pacquiao... It's still dangerous. Manny Pacquiao still has that fire burning inside. Who doesn't want to see Manny Pacquiao fight? Even with uh, Manny Pacquiao's fight with DKU. <clears throat> Manny, you know, like, when it comes to these exhibitions, you kind of just end up playing with your food. <laughs> and even Manny Pacquiao got caught up in it. And I think for Manny Pacquiao to be effective in these exhibitions or to... I feel like he needs a threat. He needs a challenge. He needs something that's going to get him up in, in the morning and make him run. And, and DKU did not make Manny Pacquiao run. Like, seriously. You know what I'm saying? Deji would make Manny Pacquiao run. Like, come on. Tension's not going to make Manny Pacquiao run. You know, yeah, a 200-pound Logan Paul would make Manny Pacquiao run. But the reality is, it's Manny Pacquiao. He's going to win eventually. He's going to break him down. Um, but... A Floyd Mayweather, that's interesting. A rematch, that's interesting. You guys have marketing, listen, all over this fight. You have history. You you don't only have the history, because there was a history before the fight. There was almost a 10-year history before they actually fought. So you have nothing but history to rely on and, and draw from and pull from to make this an, an even bigger spectacle than what it really is. And now we're talking about... Uh, um, you know, this type of fight, but it turns into almost like a real fight. You, you get the real fight vibe from this, this, this fight that doesn't mean anything. What's better than that? You're getting everything that this gives you, this authentic thing over here, gives you for this imaginary thing over here. It's just a fun fight. And, I mean... Listen, the nature of the fight, yeah, you can go as light on each other as, as you'd like. The nature of the fight, you know. Or you can just take it the way I think Manny Pacquiao would take it, especially being if it were Floyd in there. I think he would really train to knock Floyd out. I, I, I think for Manny Pacquiao, I, I honestly think if Manny Pacquiao, let's just say if the, the, the next uh, exhibition fight for Manny Pacquiao was Floyd Mayweather. And let's just say that they fought. We're just making up make believe. Let's just say they fought. Let's just and let's also say that Manny Pacquiao knocks out Floyd Mayweather. I think Manny Pacquiao would literally walk into the sun and be like, "No, I'm done. No, I, I, I mean it this time. I'm done. I'm totally done. I totally mean it this time. That's all I've been wanting for like going on twenty years. That's all I want to knock this dude out. I've done it. I've done what nobody else could do. I've done what." was talked about for so many years and finally got it done. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good with the sport. I don't even want to watch boxing anymore. I, I did what nobody else could do, period. And everybody expected me to do at some point in time. There was a, a, a period in which many people believed that Manny Pacquiao was going to be the, the chosen one to knock out Floyd Mayweather. And when it didn't happen... You know, the speculation came, the arm issue, the, the surgery, wh whatever the case may be, you know, and 
pay many Pacquiao supporters still support him. And I, you know, if, if I had two working, 100% working arms, I could have got the job done. Well, this is an exhibition fight. It don't mean anything. It don't mean anything. It means zero. It means nothing. And we're talking about, what, eight rounds? Could you imagine Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Money Mayweather for eight rounds in an exhibition fight? That would turn into a brutal slugfest. Why am I saying a brutal slugfest? Because Floyd Mayweather has been dropping guys much bigger than himself in the, in the past fights. And I feel like... I, I don't want to say he's hit a new gear because he's obviously older. He's obviously slower than what he used to be. But Floyd Mayweather, when he sits down on his punches nowadays, he's doing damage. Like, he's doing damage when he sits down on, <clears throat> on those punches. Now, you take that and you take that Manny Pacquiao. If I were Floyd, and I'm just throwing this out there, I would take him up in the offer. Why? Because Manny Pacquiao just came back. He's still fresh. He still hasn't had a like a training camp or anything like that. He's still fresh. He was playing with DK. Like he was literally toying with DKU. While Floyd actually has been fighting younger, bigger dudes. He's been fighting younger, bigger dudes. Floyd never truly, in, in my eyes, he's never really retired. You know, like, yeah, he's been fighting guys that we all know he's gonna beat, but he's never really fully hung the gloves up and, and walked away. Yeah, he's been doing other ventures, but he trains every single day. He's constantly in the gym and he's constantly training young fighters. So he's never really walked away. He's never really walked away. And he's been <clears throat> at least one fight every year since he's pretty much walked away. He's had an exhibition. So he isn't really... <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm coming up off a little bit of a sore throat. But... um. He's never really walked away. Well, that being said, he's a lot more fresh than Manny Pacquiao. And for eight rounds, give the people what we've always wanted to see. Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather just go at it for eight rounds. Why not? It don't go on your record. And I think Floyd is a lot more fresh than Manny Pacquiao right now. And Floyd sitting down on his punches hits a lot harder than he's always gotten the credit for. I think it would be an interesting matchup. Who doesn't want to see Manny Pacquiao fight? Come on. That dude is a legend. That dude is a slugger. That dude will bring it. And who doesn't want to see this new exhibition Floyd? Say what you want. Listen, there, there's, there's three eras of Floyd Mayweather. There's um, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather, who was a killer, who was going to get it, who wasn't playing around, who was on a mission. You have Money Mayweather, who was playing it safe. And now you have this exhibition guy who's dropping people left and right, <laughs> like from single body shots. Who doesn't like this guy? I, I feel like I like exhibition Floyd more than I like uh, Money Mayweather. Uh, so I think it would be a fun fight. I, I don't necessarily think it'd be hard to make. Uh, I think it'd be a fun fight. I feel like Manny Pacquiao can ask anything arising and they'd say yes. He'd be like, give me the moon. He'd be like, what side do you want? I don't feel like it'd be a hard ask. And Give Floyd $100 million to fight me. Okay, we'll call him. I don't feel like it'd be hard at all for this fight to get made. I think it'd be, it could get made relatively easy. I think this fight can get made, literally made over a handshake at this point. Floyd's his own boss. Manny Pacquiao's his own boss. And Ryzen's got a lot of money. Why not? Do it in Japan. Why not? Let's have fun. Eight rounds. Exhibition. Floyd Mayweather. Dropping people with body shots. Manny Pacquiao toying with his food. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Give everybody what they what they give us all what we wanted the first time. Because yeah, Floyd just won the first time, but Manny wasn't letting go the way Manny lets go either. In order to get the best Manny Pacquiao, he needs an opponent who's gonna let go. And I feel like this new exhibition Floyd lets go. So those are my thoughts. What do you think? Drop your thoughts down below. Do you think it's likely that we'll see Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather too? Or is that just wishful and hopeful thinking on my end and Manny Pacquiao's end? Drop your thoughts down below. As always, I love to hear what you have to say. Please like, please share, please subscribe to the channel.